Well, uh, we're here with uh, Colin Voth, our first uh, Carmen Ford Meals on the Farm winner. And uh, Colin, just maybe tell us a little bit about uh, the farm. What do you have going on here these days? Uh, we're right in the middle of our harvest right now. Um, we're, we finished our wheat harvest. Now we're into some pinto beans. And uh, hopefully we can get those off this week. What else uh, were you growing this year beyond those two? Uh, canola, soybeans, and corn. Well, tell us how uh, you found your way to the farm here. Was it something you were always destined to do, or did you kind of make your way here eventually? Uh, I was off the farm for a number of years and had the opportunity to come back, and uh, that's where we landed. Now, was this uh, was this a case of uh, the farm already being in the family, or how did that work out? Yes, this is a family farm. Uh, probably you'd consider it at least uh, three generations already. So... Um, we farm at least three generation ground. Some of our ground is three generation ground, and uh, hopefully we can make that more. Right well, and you've got uh, four kiddos on the farm with you, right? Yes, we do. Right on. What are, and uh, what are their ages or grades? Uh, they are grade ten, grade seven, grade five, and grade two. Right on. So you were mentioning, Colin, that you're off the farm for a little period of time, and then you came back. What was it about farming that really got you? you know, I, I want to do this. Like, this is what I'm, I'm meant to do. Uh, probably growing up on the farm, I had part of the, some uh, part of that, but also uh, being able to uh, build something to pass on to the next generation as well. Yeah. What do you uh, enjoy the most about, you know, farming? Like, you're, it's such a different career, if you will, than so many. What is it about it that gets you up in the morning and gets you going? Probably just the diversity of it. It's, Almost every day you're doing something new, you're doing uh, something different, and yet you're repeating the same thing as well. So it's it's uh, a very interesting, rewarding career that uh, uh, you don't actually repeat that many times in your lifetime. And speaking of that next generation, what is it like having the family here with you right on the farm, right on the yard site every day? Uh, it's awesome to have them alongside when they want to come along. Um, they uh, have the opportunities if they want to uh, be a part of uh, what's going on on the yard and uh, hopefully they uh, are interested in that as well. So maybe just take us through how things have been looking now that you've got into combining. You've got uh, your wheat off, you're into your pinto beans. How are things looking so far? Uh, considering the amount of rain that we've had, uh, we're uh, pleasantly surprised with uh, what's coming off so far. Good. And you are mentioning that your canola looks pretty pretty lush but still to be still to be combined yeah we're i think it's going to be a challenge to get that stuff through the combine but uh we'll see what the combine says uh at the end of the day whether uh what the yield looks like there over all right well and we got dmm energy here today carmen ford sun valley co-op helping us out with uh with the food and how did the lunch go down did it all work out for you and uh and everyone here oh yeah it was uh very good lunch we uh, want to thank uh, everybody for bringing it down